If we're just running a cable from one point to the other and would like to avoid putting racks or uh, wall-mounted boxes in, what we'd like to have is we'd like to have a bundle of protected cables inside a larger jacket. That's what we call a breakout cable. So let's take a look at a breakout cable. Again, we're going to adjust our jacket stripper until we cut about 90% of the way through the jacket. And we'll take a test cut about four inches down from the end of the cable. Go around a few times, bend it, break it out, pull it, pull the jacket off. And now what we find is a layer of paper. The paper is there to prevent the jacket to sticking to the cables underneath during the um, manufacturing process. Pull the paper back, there's binder tape holding all the cables in place. And then there's a number of individual cables. And each of these is a fiber inside a jacketed cable. Let's take a closer look at that construction. Notice this one has a very, very large center strength member. That's to make the cable very stiff. Remember, this is designed to be a very rugged cable. It has a rip cord, which we can use to rip the jacket off the cable so that we can remove a large amount of jacket. With a cable like this, we're probably going to want to remove five or six feet or more of the jacket. And then we can run the individual cables to wherever we want them to be. So what we would do with this cable is we will strip the jacket off with a rip cord, cut off the central strength member, terminate the individual fibers, and run them wherever we want them to go to without having to use any other kind of, of hardware. So we can plug that directly into a piece of equipment. Each individual cable is just like the original zip cord we looked at. There's a fiber inside it, Kevlar strength member, and then a jacket. Now this cable offers considerable amounts of advantages when we are dealing with um, running from one point to another because it does not need hardware. Because of the double jacketed construction, it's extremely rugged. But you'll notice it's very bulky. This cable has no more fibers than this equivalent piece of distribution cable. So it's much bulkier. And because of all the additional manufacturing processes and materials in it, it's going to be more expensive. But if we're just going from point A to point B and want a rugged, simple cable design, and a minimum amount of problems with installing and using hardware, this is a good cable to choose.